Hi, Hiram here. Uh, last week I did a video where I was showing how I wrap duct tape around things to put in my uh, get lost bag I had said, which is a survival kit to other people. And I've had a number of people asking me what is a get lost kit and would I show it and explain it. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. This is my get lost kit. Now I call it a get lost. I don't call it a survival kit because if I was going to make a survival kit it would be about the same size as a Winnebago camper full of stuff. That would be a survival kit. These people that are walking around with mint tins and stuff and call that a survival kit. Ah. So anyway, I don't call it a survival kit. I call it a get lost. It was a if I get lost kit and then I shortened it down to get lost and that confuses some people it's in a bag like this. Now you've seen on other videos I had a kit like this this is a different camera angle for me, hope I can show this where it was a pouch attached to one of my knives just like that. The problem is with the way things are today in the world going out with a knife like this on some of the trails and stuff around here just seemed to scare people so I don't carry this anymore and since I had to take this off, I figured, what the heck, I might as well go to a larger pack to put more stuff in. This was interesting, but not big enough for what I wanted. So I found this bag uh, on eBay. It's put out by Top Gear. Uh, has the straps to go on to mollies, and it has the other mollies on the outside. What I'm going to do with this is primarily... I'll put it on my hydration pack that I've used before. Uh, I, this was on here, matter of fact, like that. And it just, like I said, it just wasn't big enough. Now it gets windy. So I'm going to be using it on this. Uh, I can also, I've taken the straps and I've added triangle D rings. So now I can, I have a rig that I can put it onto my belt and I can also, I have a strap put out by the uh, paracord guy a nice uh, 550 cord strap that this will go over my shoulder and it works real nice now as it sets right here, oh there goes Max for those of you that see him as it sets right here, this weighs a little short of two and a half pounds you might think that's heavy but I don't, I mean it weighs less than my boots it weighs about a pound less, and I measured this yesterday, it weighs about a pound less than my wife's purse. So, two and a half pounds, not too bad. And this will change as time goes on. I'll add other things to it. Um, it has the double zipper on the front. I just have it on with one of those 90s, I forget what these are called, the little carabiner clips. So it holds it together. Zips open. Now, like I said, this is what I called my get lost bag in case I'm out camping on the trail or something and I get lost this will help me through the night. This isn't meant for uh, you know the hairy guys that go out and want to survive for a month or two months this is just to keep me comfortable two, three, four nights if I need to. Now the first thing you have to worry about when you're out in something like that isn't food but rather shelter you know, it's the old rules of three. Um, you need shelter. If you're out in the cold or in the, in the rain and stuff, you could die from exposure within like three hours. So that's the most important is shelter. And I'll go through, and then um, some other things in here. But I'll go through this real quick. This may be a long video. Uh, again, I have to play with this, but I have cord. I like using this stuff in the woods because I don't have to worry about retrieving the rope and stuff like you would with 550 cord. I mean that stuff would never disintegrate. This one would. Also this would make a great uh, for fires. You know tinder and stuff. You use it great for that. And this holds a knot much better than 550 cord. So the first important things would be shelter like I said. So I have a small poncho and packed in the back, I'll get it later, is a uh, 
barrel liner for a 55 gallon drum if I'm caught out somewhere and it rains you want to get under cover so I can put on this little cheap po poncho take the bag out step in the bag and I'm covered I mean it won't be comfortable if I have to stay like that for hours but it will help keep me dry just standing in a, a 55 gallon drum pull that up around my waist have this poncho on the top now I'm hoping you can see this on my cam on my monitor it looks a little dark uh, but anyway with this poncho and the pon with the barrel liner that gives me temporary shelter to keep out of the rain now this is mostly what I would consider my uh, maybe three seasons spring summer fall I could do it with this I have a larger bag that I'll use for the winter because in the winter there's other things that you have to worry about I have a mylar blanket one of those El Cheapo Mylar blankets, I put it in a vacuum bag and sucked it down so that it takes up very little space. And I have one of those, uh, what do they call it, Adventure Medical uh, Shelter Liners. This is much bigger, it's 60 by 96 inches. So with these I could make a shelter if I had the time. Use this for the top shelter, use this for uh, a reflector or whatever, for a fire. So between this and the cord, I could make myself a decent little shelter. A uh, saw for <coughs> cutting wood and stuff. <coughs> All right, Max. Uh, use this for cutting wood. Use this for splitting wood. Just a little wire saw. Uh, what, <laughs> Max? <coughs> hey. <coughs> One of the important, really important things is toilet paper. I have a small roll of toilet paper in here. Again, I like making multi-purpose stuff. So this would be toilet paper. You could use it for tissue paper for your nose. And you could start a fire with this. So, multi-purpose. Very important thing to have. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, hand sanitizer. You want to keep yourself clean, especially if you're going to the bathroom out in the field. And this is a nice fire starter. So that's it. Okay, sorry I had to pause that. Had some guy in the back here making a bunch of noise. I think the last thing I covered was the paper bags. Uh, I've told you this stuff before. I like putting paper bags in my kit because if you're in a windy situation, you can put your tinder and some firewood and stuff in this and light it from inside and the paper bag will protect you from the wind so that you can get your fire going so these are handy and they don't hardly weigh anything one thing I may have forgotten I don't think I said it that everything that's in this kit is my redundant gear I believe in redundancy uh, what's that old adage uh, two is one and one is none I believe that so I used to carry you know, backups of everything in my pack but what I've done now is separated it all out and put it in this my backup stuff so this isn't the stuff I'd use every day it's just my backup and I put it in one kit and let's see where we go from here uh, can with gear in it it's just a regular soup can punch two holes in it there's a ring of wire down on the bottom so that I could make a bale on this. Now, in my previous kit, I used something like this, and I've had lots of people saying, why don't you get something called, oh, what is the name here now? Oh, the uh, Vargo Titanium Bot Pot. Whew. I looked that up. The thing costs like $100, but it's made out of titanium, and it has a screw-on lid. I think I'll stick with my free can. So this gives me a place to boil water to uh, purify it. That's one way of purifying water. Inside that I had this little bag and I think I may change this for a plastic bag but I've got extra gear. Get it out here. Um, I'm not too sure about this cloth bag for using. I think, I think it's kind of heavy and it, I can't find another real use for that. But inside here, this is one of the containers I showed you. It's my Weber cubes that have been stuffed down in a little medicine bottle. And then the bottle's been wrapped in duct tape. 
duct tape is like manna from heaven you can use this for all kinds of stuff but anyway the Weber cubes for fire starting another little medicine bottle with matches in it the wooden matches with the strikers on the inside I turned the strikers around so that they're facing out so that it won't start the matches and on this I also have duct tape a uh, tea light wrapped in aluminum foil so that in case like today it it's what's the temperature now Wow 93 degrees 93 degrees out here uh, this stuff will start to melt so I wrapped it up in aluminum foil so that at least keeps it in the tray a compass now I'll also have something like this on going out so this gives me some paracord and a compass but then here's a backup compass a low temperature glue stick you'd be surprised how often having a glue stick with you that you could just warm up over a candle or a fire and then smear it on something and glue it together low temperature glue stick very handy um, crazy glue people use this for medical purposes for gluing uh, emergency gluing things together comes in handy uh, small reel I think this is 30 feet of uh, cord fishing cord not fishing cord what do you call it um, anyway for like cat fishing and stuff it's very strong cordage comes in handy it's basically the same stuff that's inside a para in a paracord here's a small reel of uh, nylon cord that I picked up a bunch of these one time I like carrying these things because they're handy very strong for the the size of the cordage a single edge razor blade these things come in handy a lot of times for a, a sharp knife now I always do carry my uh, knife around my neck which has some stuff in that but that stuff comes in handy having it like that and the trusty lighter I really should get a smaller one but uh, this is a new lighter never been used other than to test it with duct tape wrapped around it and then this is where the um, cord wrap comes in handy when this is in the bag the I don't know what you want to call it the trigger can't be pushed down letting the gas out I mean it's nothing like sticking this into a pack and having something push against the trigger and empty out your cigarette lighter so that prevents it from happening these are needles in a lead a case that lead came in for my pencils but well, it sounded ornery anyway uh, needles for sewing I have fish line yes fish line and more cordage here in case you had to sew something up nails these come in very handy haven't I just take a couple of nails with me um, now I don't have much in here for procuring food that's not the thing like I said you could live for a week or so without food but so some people might use this for fish catching but I just have them for mostly for shelter type stuff or for making a pot stand in a fire of course a couple of safety pins gotta have them and I gotta put this in a case but a magnifying glass to help starting a fire if you need it moving on here instead of buying a mirror to put in here for a survival mirror what I use and make for other people is an old CD disc or DVD disc has your built-in hole and everything and it works really good on the other side I make a clock face what happens is the watches that I carry are all digital and I'm sure most of you know that you can if you have a, a watch that's on the correct time you can use that to find out which way is south since my watches are digital and I was packing something like this anyway as a round face I just put a clock face on it to use this if I know what time of day it is I take one of the nails let's say it's 10 o'clock put it like this on the disc move it around until the shadow of the nail goes across the 10 when it does that then I know halfway between the hour and 12 is south so in this case if the shadow is on 10 south is that way so it's just a, you know, a little backup thing and it acts as a mirror 
notes and also I print out instructions on the back of the wrapper to remind me what it does. Let's see, going on from here. This is my Frontier Pro portable water filter. The small one. I use this for water. I did buy a uh, a life straw but the ad that I bought it from put the length shorter and I thought it would fit in this pouch but it doesn't so I'll stick this in my pack or something but a life straw but anyway this works just as well it's got a uh, I'm sure you've seen these before it's got a straw you put that in this end just like so and I can stick this in the water and just suck clean water out the other end. Not what I like to use all the time, but this is an emergency thing and it fits in this pouch. I put the straw separate in here so that I keep it clean. You don't want contaminated water hitting this straw. And then I can just put it away like so. And like always, duct tape wherever I can find space to put it. This is my little shovel. It's just a little piece of aluminum angle iron. Cut it at an angle, sharpen the edge, and I can use this for digging cat holes or fire pit or whatever I want. I can, oh, I didn't put the drill holes in it. I can also attach this to a spear to use as a sharp point if I'm in an area that I need to keep animals away. We don't have that problem too much here in Pennsylvania, but it could also be used for that. I'm glad I pulled this out. I have to drill some holes in this because I also carry a half of a hacksaw saw blade. And what I do is I put a hole in here so that I can put this on, attach it like so, and then I can use this as a handle for sawing some wood if I needed to make something special. And this blade also will work for fire starting. Tools are something that are hard to come by if you get lost in a wood seat. Tools are the important thing to take with you. Sorry, wrong hand. And I have a fire striker here and this would start it. I also carry a whistle. My P38. Never go anywhere without it. Another small knife if needed. Comes in handy. Uh, what else? Oh, flashlight. This is one of those wind-up flashlights. It's got a little handle on it. And you can charge it up like so. Fairly bright for as big as it is. And you can uh, repower it up. And I also have a micro light. So that's the tools. Like I said, I'm glad I pulled that out. i got to put a hole in there. Another thing that's real handy to carry with you are wire ties. They don't hardly weigh anything, but they really come in handy. Especially if you got to put a shelter up real quick. They work great for that. Let's see, I have another inside pouch here. I have some wet ones. Come in handy for keeping yourself clean so that you, uh, you know, you could wash your pits the whole bit with these things. Also, some uh, what they call Denta Burst. It's little toothbrushes that you can use to keep yourself comfortable. A couple of those. Um, oh, I also put pills in this before I leave. I put whatever prescription pills I need. Here's some anti diarrhea pills. Carry them. The water tablets for water purification. Carry a four pack of those along with coffee filters for straining out the crud, some of the crud from water. I can put these, one of these, on top of this, hold it like so, and then the water goes in, gets a little filtered, and I'll have the water that I can pour into something else. So coffee filters, they also come in handy for starting a fire. Um, these are some cotton pads that I vacuum packed 
so they keep nice and dry. These again, like everybody knows, you use these for fire starting, or I like to use these with the duct tape if I need large bandages for something. They come in real handy that way. Um, didn't I pull that out yet? No. My medical kit, just some small band-aids, some ointments, some uh, pain pills, uh, a little assortment of band-aids. I just vacuum packed that. Anything longer, larger that I need than this, I use the cotton pads and duct, duct tape. This is the 55 gallon drum bag. This is the one that I said I would step into if it started to rain and I wanted to keep dry. I'd step into this with the poncho one and that would keep me somewhat dry. Um, a couple more wet ones. Aluminum foil. Always comes in handy. You know all about that. These are my water bags. Uh, this is a smaller drum liner. Comes in handy for you know whatever you want for waterproofing. And this is my water bag. I keep some uh, Reynolds oven bags. These are real nice. They're very strong. They're like made out of mylar. So you can put your water in this. After I've strained it with this, I pour it in here. I have marks on it to show me what's a quart. And then I can use the the water pills, no, the water pills. After I've strained the water somewhat, I can put them in here. Now you don't want to carrying these bags around is kind of a pain, so I have this uh, shop bag. It's a real strong shop bag with a handle. I can put my bag of water inside this, and then I've got a way to carry water. Comes in really handy. I've used that a number of times. A uh, couple more wet ones. Keep yourself clean. What a lot of people don't carry in their kits is identification. I made a photocopy of my driver's license and my health card. And inside this is a folded up $20 bill. So if I need money, I can just cut the end and take the money out. I also have my phone number here and my blood type. You should carry identification with you. Now, like I said earlier, oh, one more flash, little flashlight here. This is supposed to be attached to the outside of the pack somewhere. But it's just a little button light for the first thing to get at. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, food isn't important. Water is. This will be attached usually to my hydration, so that takes care of water, but I can get more. You don't need food, but that being said, food is awfully com comforting. What I do carry in here are, boy, well, these are getting beat up, two packs of apple cider and sugar. So I can make myself some nice warm apple cider, put a little bit of sugar in it to, uh, you know, fortify me. Normally, uh, when I leave, go to go somewhere, I put my medicine, whatever prescriptions I need, in here. And I'll also throw some sort of an energy bar or a couple of packets of oatmeal. I mean, oatmeal is easy. You can just heat up the water and make yourself some oatmeal. Great stuff. So, kind of a little helter-skelter there. Sorry for the interruption with the noise. I had to stop the video. But this is, right now, my Get Lost kit. I'll refine this down as I play with it. But you can see why I needed a larger container. Um, this really was only basically tools, not the extra stuff to make you comfortable. So, like I said, I'm sorry. This is my Get Lost kit. Other people might call it a survival kit. I hope this helps sharing this with you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I needed on, to say on this. Um, I guess that's it. Jute cord. I carry jute cord instead of paracord but I do have paracord usually on this or if I carry this on the strap that's made out of paracord yep, I think that's it so this is my get lost kit you might call it an, uh, an survival kit but this is it so I thank you for watching sorry I just got too long so long I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max there he is Bye now.
Max, come here. Come here. Good boy.